Modular Inverses. Please pause the video and read the definition, and then we'll talk about it. So we're finding multiplicative inverses, and that's two numbers that multiply together to get you one, mod m. We were really finding multiplicative inverses in the last video when we were solving linear congruences. We just didn't give them that name. And this theorem is important. A has an inverse mod m if and only if the greatest common divisor of A and m is equal to 1. If the greatest common divisor between A and m is greater than 1, then there is no inverse mod m. So let's take a look at some examples. Suppose we want to find the inverse of 5 mod 7. That's asking us to find what we can multiply 5 by to get 1 mod 7. So we do as we've done in the past. Mod 7, 1 is congruent to 8. That's not a multiple of 5. So we add 7 again and we get 15. 15 is 5 times 3 mod 7. So 3 is the inverse of 5 mod 7. And notation will write 5 inverse is congruent to 3 mod 7. Now pause the video and you try this one. Find the inverse of 5 mod 11. So hopefully you said 1 was congruent to 12 mod 11. Always start with 1 and add the mod on. Congruent to 23, adding 11, 34, and eventually we get to 45. And that's 5 times 9 mod 11. So the inverse of 5 is congruent to 9 mod 11. Again, if you feel comfortable, pause the video and try this one. So you've got 1 congruent to 18, because we're adding 17 this time. And that's 6 times 3 mod 17. So 6 inverse is congruent to 3 mod 17. Now we want to find the inverse of 18 mod 19. Now we want to find the inverse of 18 mod 19. So we could do 1 is congruent to 20, and that's not a multiple of 18. It is congruent to adding 19. We get 39, and then we get 58, and then we get 77. Still no multiples of 18. Eventually, if you keep adding on, you're going to get up to 324, which is 18 times 18. So 18's inverse is 18. OK, so that will always work. But sometimes you end up spending a lot of time trying to find the inverse. And there's a little bit of a shortcut you can do for this problem if you realize that 18 is the same thing as negative 1 mod 19. We're used to adding, adding 19, but we can subtract 19 as well. What's the inverse of negative 1? What do we multiply negative 1 to get posi by positive 1? That's negative 1, right? 1 is the same thing as negative 1 times negative 1. And since 18 is negative 1, 18 is its own inverse, OK? It would work the same way. Let's suppose I asked you to find the inverse of 17 mod 19. 17 is the same thing as negative 2 mod 19, All right? If I add 19 to negative 2, I get 17. Looking back up here, 20 is negative 2 times negative 10. So negative 2. The inverse of negative 2 is negative 10, mod 19. Negative 2 adding 19 gives us 17. So the inverse of 17 is congruent to, I'm going to add 19 to that negative 10, because I want positive numbers, is equal to 9, mod 19. Okay. If you did this a long way, eventually you would get up to in your list of congruences up here, um, 17 times 9, which would be 153. So you get there. It just takes a little bit longer. OK, so now what if I was asked to find the inverse of 5 mod 10? You could start chugging along and add 10 to 1, and you get 11, and 21, and 31. And you could spend the rest of your life adding 10 to 1 or multiples of 1, and you would never get a multiple of 5. So what's the problem here? Well, the problem is that the greatest common divisor of 5 and 10 is 5, which is not 1. So the answer is that there is no inverse. So if there's a greatest common divisor greater than 1 between those two values, then there is no inverse. So I hope that helps, and I think you're ready to practice. So have a great day.